Assassin's Creed Rogue? Frickin' socks, man! This is the most garbage game I've ever seen in my entire frickin' life! Assassin's Creed Rogue. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm talking about an Assassin's Creed game on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. That's right, this game is basically the uh, standalone Assassin's Creed uh, game, you know, typical, uh, you know, obviously A Creed, it comes out every freaking year, it's redundant, it's been done to death, it's, it's such a rehash, copy and paste uh, engine basically, it's the same crap over and over again, every single year there's an Assassin's Creed game. But of course, the PS3 and the 360, the, the last gen, you know, uh, f forgotten consoles of the last gen, the old 360 and the PS3, they're still getting crappy, you, you, I couldn't you know, call it pseudo ports, you know, pseudo crappy standalone games, you know, little irrelevant titles, and A Creed Rogue. This has got to be the, the, the crappiest, most pathetic, most t terribly produced um, A Creed game for those systems since like, I, I can't even remember, since probably the first one. The very first Assassin's Creed game that came out back in 2007. And this is an absolute pile of garbage. This is trash. Now, it's going to come out on uh, PC as well uh, later, uh, I think next year, 2015. But, oh my god. I, na na There's going to be some naval aspects uh, from the older games. You know, it's going to come back. So, the stuff that we've seen, you know, they're using the, sh the ship, you know player controlling Shay's uh, ship, uh, the, the Morrigan. The Morrigan has a shallower uh, draft compared to uh, Edward Kenway's Jack Draw from uh, Black Flag, right? There's going to be puckle guns and the ability for enemies to board uh, Morrigan during ship-to-ship -ship combat. Uh, there's going to be, uh, be able to release an oil slick, which can be ignited. I mean, <sighs> there's no more need to release Assassin's Creed on the last gen systems. What you're basically doing, what Ubisoft is basically confirming is that they need to uh, constantly, consistently release these stupid Assassin's Creed titles over and over again. Even for the weaker consoles, it's not really meant for next gen. It's not a next gen game. It's just rehashing the same crap we've seen, the same Assassin's Creed garbage we've seen since for the past seven years, you know, on the seventh generation. There's no need for this series to be on PS3 and all you know what this feels like Assassin's Creed Rogue it, on the PS3 and the Xbox 360 is basically the equivalent of WWE 2k15 still being released on the PS3 and 360 those are the crappier downgraded versions but the next-gen systems the Xbox one and the PS4 are getting the, the real copy the real games you know so when 2k15 drops on the Xbox one and PS4 that's the real game with it with the high-end graphics with all the full features everything complete in that uh, particular title and that's the real version to get not this a creed row garbage what you want to get is a creed unity assassin's creed unity is the real assassin's creed uh, current gen game it's not even I shouldn't even say next gen it's the current gen this one is a last gen game this is an outdated piece of trash you know, it's there's not gonna be there's not much freaking uh, improvements from the previous games. There's some you know little tweakings here and there, but there's not much differences. They're just coasting by on the same engine, the same gameplay, the same basic structure. This formulaic, hackneyed, a creed experience. You know, you got Shea Patrick Cormack. You know, a 21 year old, oh brother of assassins member. I mean, this guy, this character sucks. And he's not, he, there's nothing special about this guy. He doesn't stand out. He's got no charisma. He's got no personality. Just the same boring, you know, typical, predictable garbage. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, and I like how they have to gimmick it up by, you know, having it tied to Assassin's Creed Unity. It's like some of the events will be tied to A Creed Unity. But who gives a crap? It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. It. It's a it's on a crappier consoles. It's on crappier engine. It's in it's basically inferior. If this is an inferior Assassin's Creed game, you know, I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of bugs in this game. I, I mean, this game has 
this game has so much bugs and problems. There's so many glitches in this freaking game. It's like they never even took time to patch it up and to make sure that this game runs fine. You know, there's, there's so many uh, problems and issues with this particular Acreed garbage. There's really nothing else I can say. There's no point of releasing Acreed Rogue or Acreed Rouge or whatever the hell this game is on the last gen systems or any systems, any platforms. Instead of putting this stupid crap out on the last gen consoles, they should have just released and, and focused uh, on Unity and making sure that Unity gets all the content, gets all the, you know, all, all the time and effort should, should have been focused on Unity instead of having to, you know, shoehorn, shoehorn a title like A Creed Rogue for the last gen. Let me t the only reason. The only reason they put out Assassin's Creed on the PS3 and the 360 is for the sole purpose that those systems are very, very uh, numerous. There's so many systems sold. There's a huge demographic for the PS3 and 360. Maybe not so much in the past, you know, year, year and a half, especially with the re release of PS4 and Xbox One. But there's still a market for that. There's still a huge massive uh, uh demographic because you know people still own that they haven't moved on to the ps4 the xbox one and so they're still trying to cash in on the ps3 and the 360 uh, fan base but the problem is that we're getting these crappier ports these inferior garbage ports like the assassin's creed rogue and ww2k15 and you know watchdogs for the ps3 and 360 these inferior shitty ports that are very irrelevant that are not, uh, you know, they, they don't produce games for it to the fullest anymore. They don't care about creating quality uh, games anymore for these systems. It's just, we, we got to put out some, you know, something so that it sells and these idiots buy it. These moronic 7th gen, you know, last gen idiots that still play, you know, the PS3 and 360. They're stuck in the 7th gen. So they end up buying into it just because it's new. Just because, oh, it's because of the hype and... You know, they really have nothing else to buy. They have nothing else. They can't buy the next gen, so they gotta stick with these, whatever leftovers uh, Ubisoft has, uh, you know, left uh, in their in their garbage. You know, in their garbage disposal. But it's really nothing special. So Assassin's Creed Rogue, this is a pile of trash. You know, the graphics stink. The graphics look like crap. This game is visually very, very outdated. You know. Compared to Assassin's Creed Unity, it's not even close. Unity's graphics destroy Assassin's Creed Rogue. It's not even, you can't even compare it. You know, it's very inferior looking, it's very downgraded, it's very last gen, you know, it looks very crappy and it's not really impressive, it's not really special. And the storyline, the storyline stinks, of course, the storyline is garbage trash. You know, you got the whole naval ship theme still... They're focusing on the naval ship theme. That is that is so tired and played out. You know, we've seen that in Black Flag. Been there, done that, you know. we There's not nothing else new when it comes to this A-Creed stuff. You know, A-Creed... If you want to enjoy A-Creed to the fullest, get Unity. Unity is where it's at. Not this A-Creed rogue, last-gen hack, garbage trash. So that's it for this episode of the True Gamer Reviews. And keep in mind, you're listening to a true gamer. That's why you little noobs are listening to this. And, you know, you, you got to hear it from a true gamer. Somebody who's an actual, real gamer that plays everything, including even the crappy ones like Acreed Rogue. So you know what's up. The True Gamer Reviews is brought to you by The Review Space. For more videos, check out youtube.com backslash The Review Space. Thanks for watching. Until next time.